Hi and welcome to the Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Brent. The London Borough of Brent lies in the northwestern region of Greater London and contains the significant areas of Wembley, Kilburn, Wilsdon, and Neeston. Crowned as the Mayor's London Borough of Culture in 2020, Brent has come out of the unappreciated shadows and placed itself firmly on the list of must-visit areas of the English capital. Though only measuring up to a humble 16 square miles, there is plenty to see and do in the borough, no matter what your reason for visiting might be. Step aside from the typical capital city tourist spots and see our list of 15 things to do in the London Borough of Brent. Let's get started. 10. Baps Sri Swaminarayan Mandir One of the largest Hindu temples outside of India, the Bapias Sri Swaminarayan Mandir, also known as the Nizan Temples, makes for incredible sight and one you may not expect to see in a London borough. Decorated with intricate Hindu designs and subcontinent architecture that was crafted in India, the outside of the building is enough to transport your mind eastward. The temple welcomes visitors to experience a traditional Hindu prayer ceremony, learn about the history and practices of the Hindu faith from the Understanding Hinduism exhibition, or simply observe from afar. However you choose to spend your time here, it is sure to be memorable. 9. Maidsbury Dell Maidsbury Dell is a garden and public park that sits just back from the hustle and bustle of the busy streets. An award-winning park, Maidsbury Dell is home to a picturesque point printing with wildlife, tables for an afternoon picnic, and immaculate lawns perfect for lazing away on a sunny afternoon. A children's playground also makes a great little feature for the little ones to enjoy. As one of Brent's best-kept secrets, Maidsbury Dell is a great place to come and relax. It also plays host to the Midsummer Music Festival during the summer months, only adding to its appeal. 8. Wembley Stadium As the home of English football, there are fewer places in the game more encapsulating than Wembley Stadium. Officially opened in 2007, the ground has seen its fair share of International England Games, FA Cup Finals, and Promotion Finals. Taking a tour of this 90,000-seater stadium is a must-do for any lover of the beautiful game. Alongside watching high-intensity football matches, Wembley is also a fantastic venue for concerts by a variety of artists and musicians. The atmosphere can rarely be matched by any large venue in the country. Wembley Stadium is surely Brent's pride and joy, and an unmissable spot if you're in the area. 7. London Designer Outlet London is known as one of the fashion capitals of the world, so it is no surprise that there are several designer outlets scattered around the city. Brent is home to one of these designer outlets, and if a little high-end retail therapy is your thing, you're in the right place. Located in the Wembley Park area, this designer outlet boasts more than 50 different brands, including Superdry, Nike, Lee, Hanley's, Clark's, and M&S. Once you've filled our bags, why not head to one of the many restaurants that also make up the extensive Wembley Park? 6. SSE Arena Along with Wembley Stadium, Brent is home to another of the nation's premier large music venues, the SSE Arena. Along with playing host to the biggest names in music, the arena is also the place to watch large national and international sporting events such as snooker darts and wrestling. With a capacity of around 12,500, the venue is an atmospheric place to watch a whole range of events. Check out the annual schedule to see what events are being held here during your visit to the Brent area of London. 5. Welsh Harp Open Space it can often be hard to find green and pleasant spaces in Greater London, so Welsh Harp Open Space is somewhat of an oasis in the middle of Brent. Complete with the idyllic waters of Brent Reservoir, Welsh Harp Open Space is a great way to escape the stresses of life and enjoy a little me time. The 420 acres of green space also play host to a variety of plants and animals, making it a wildlife sanctuary as well as a public park, marshland, wooded copies, and reservoir water can make you instantly forget you're on the outskirts of the UK's largest city. 4. Queen's Park Farmer's Market Queen's Park Farmer's Market encapsulates all that is great about traditional farmer's markets. Made up of over 40 different stalls, the market sells a range of goods from free-range meats to vegetables, eggs, and much more. 
brought into London from as far afield as Norfolk. This market provides the best products that English farms can offer. Queen's Park Farmers Market meets every Sunday from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m., so be sure to arrive early for the best and most fresh produce in all of Brent. Why not opt to purchase some fresh goods and picnic in the local Queen's Park? 3. Brent Museum The Brent Museum, formerly known as the Grange Museum, has been collecting artifacts and objects associated with Brent for half a decade. From works of art oil paintings, historical tools, flapper dresses, and more, the museum is a hodgepodge collection that illustrates the long history of the Brent area. Every year, the museum hosts a wide variety of changing exhibitions, all having a link with the Brent area. The space has been used in several different ways, highlighting Brent's past, present, and future. Find out what's on at the museum during your visit to Brent. You may be pleasantly surprised. 2. Royal Air Force Museum Though slightly outside the Brent area, a short walk from the borough will take you to the Royal Air Force Museum. One of only two official RAF museums in the country, this is a must-see for any fan of the force or fans of airplanes in flight. Home to a large variety of military and civilian planes, the museum gets you up close and personal with these machines of the sky. Along with the planes themselves, the RAF Museum also takes you through the inception of the force and its involvement in the numerous British conflicts over the past hundred years. 1. Headstone Manor and Museum Set on the distorted grounds of Headstone Manor, this museum takes visitors back in time with a set of fantastically curated exhibitions showcasing the history of the local area. Built in the 14th century, Headstone Manor is one of the earliest surviving timber buildings in the entire county and one of the most interesting domestic buildings in the country. Wander around this grade, I listed building and step out of the modern city and into a time long forgotten. Alongside the historic building, Headstone Manor is home to over 14,000 artifacts that tell the story of this ancient home. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.